1400 metres again for race number four. It's the first leg of the triple trio. No jackpots uh, this week. It's a class four. Good for you. Heads them. Alexi Bedell right from barrier seven. He's a, a two time winner over the, uh, the 1400 uh, metres behind. Glory Star last time out, right choice, very impressive winning on debut on the all weather. Happy Guy um, finished last course and distance behind Smart Charade last time out. Happy Force, uh, a last start course and distance uh, winner. Alberto Santa returns. He's uh, riding Jonesy here from Barrier 14. Cash in Minister, fifth uh, behind Perfect Match last time out. And down to Dominator, blinkers on for the first time. Course and distance for the first time for Paul O'Sullivan and Derek Long. Great to have Alberto back. Uh, good for you, Beauty Energy, enjoy life. And Charity Grand have been up at Chung Fibre. Outstanding effort from Alberto here. Mm. Great to see him back uh, riding there on Sunday. Um, looking at the speed map here, happy force and right choice. Potentially might buy for the lead. Dominator could kick through from a low gate. Happy Guy's also drawn quite well and he was forward two starts ago and four starts back. And of the others, are there a few there that are caught wide that potentially want to press on? We'll have to wait and see, but I don't think Happy Force will be sit sprinting and that'll be uh, him out in front, I would have thought. Nice win from this horse on debut and he's come out of it really nicely. His track work's been good since and uh, he's all systems go. Change of jockey with uh, Zach Purden suspended, Sylvester de Souza. Aboard, Beauty Energy moves nice enough. Douglas White's done most of the work on uh, Beauty Energy and uh, he moves fluently enough here this morning. He's got a good barrier, barrier number three. Uh, he should run well when this track work indicates that. And a happy guy, uh, he goes well. He's got no, well, he was ran last at his last start, but he did have a bit of an excuse. Prior to that, he ran okay. Uh, Dylan Moe, barrier number five, and he's taken no little effects from that run anyway. All right, let's uh, start our search here with Good For You. Finishing second behind Glory Star, Swat Windico and Mickey Rich. Good turnaround at the weights here, five and nine pounds respectively. Yep. Um, good for you. He's a reasonably honest character, isn't he, in this type of race. He's won three in the class, two over the course and distance and had ten minors. So the quicker they go, the better he'll finish off. He's shown at his last two that he's going OK. Yeah, he's the one I like out of this. I think Swat Windicator has to improve a little bit, what I've seen. Agree. Mickey Rich has won one race, though. He did win at Happy Valley that time. He did. Yeah. That was 1,200 metres. Yep. Uh, right Choice is a winner already on debut on the all-weather. He was favourite for this, but a 4-1 to one favourite. It was a tough run, but he just kept on rolling. Oh, it was a great run, wasn't it? He was wide the whole way, uh, three or four wide, and here he, he, he looked like he was under a ride most of the way, but just in this last 150 metres, he really picked up and hit the line very strongly and ran away for a really nice win. Uh, his work on the turf has been just as good. Uh, I'm going to stick with him. I thought it was a good win from him, and he, I think he's still got rating points in hand. Yeah, definitely uh, a nice horse. That was a pretty tough win. Halfway through the race, you, um, you wouldn't have been feeling that confident, but once he flattened and started to build his momentum... Um, he showed a bit of class, didn't he? Absolutely, he did. Yeah, Happy Force is another one that's a last start winner. We've got Victorious Leader out the back there. Uh, this was over course and distance. Yep, I think he'll jump and he'll run again, and I think he'll give um, the other likely favourite in the race right choice, or he may even be the outright favourite, um, a run for his money. He's a nice enough fellow himself, this guy, and he is a, a jump and run. He's by Piero, who won a golden slipper. So um, I, I think there's still plenty of scope in him. Um, drawn 12, that won't worry me because he will charge forward and try and find the rail, provided he doesn't get too many pushing up underneath him and making it too hard, then I think he'll run another good race. Yeah, that's the key, isn't it? The yeah. first couple of hundred metres, I think, for him. All right, blinkers on for the first time when he won there. Certainly seemed to uh, make the difference, or certainly help. Charity Grand just had two starts, an ISG by Exceed and Excel. Yeah, and uh, you can see his trial here. He uh, wins his trial quite nicely, uh, Charity Grand, so uh, it was pretty good. They're putting the tongue tie on for his uh, debut run. He's had those two runs now, so uh, he'll be... Uh, th they, they were last season, so he'll be fresh up into this race, uh, barrier two, and he's had the, the benefit of this trial. I, I haven't put him in. I'm happy to watch him fresh up. Yep, he finished behind a horse called General Trump in that uh, trial. Um, I haven't put him in either, but an interesting runner. All right, OK. Favourite at this stage, probably not surprisingly, right choice. Paul. Yeah, got him on top too, right choice. Um, I did like him before debut and didn't let me down, and I think he can run really well once again here. I've got Woman Ruby in for second. He's had a recent trial. He ran third in that trial, and he hit the line really nicely. He's a Class 3 winner, and he's now in Class 4, so a really well-rated horse. A dominator, I've put him in from the map. I think he'll get the best run just in behind the pace from Barrier 1, and he's got those blinkers on for the first time, so we'll give him a chance, and uh, good for you, he's very honest in this grade. 2, 6, 14 and 1. 
I'll stick with Happy Force. Um, he's got to lift the bar, but I think he's potentially a chance of doing so. He did have blinkers on himself last start and they did the trick. But in saying that, he actually ran quite a nice race prior to that behind Smiling Pride. Um, you'll get an each way price about him, whereas Right Choice will probably be a little bit more on the skinnier side. So I'll tip the eight each way over the two. Um, I think they'll go pretty close to running the Quinella. Happy guys, my little value runner. As Paul said, he had excuses last start. Prior to that, he ran OK behind Fantastic Fabio, and he'll be a big price. So I'll include him in the QQP with the two, five and eight. And enjoy life. There will be probably a nice tempo in the race and always does his best work when uh, ridden quietly and finishing hard off the back of a strong tempo. So he's in for fourth. Yeah, I was very taken with right choices when first up. He'll take the boiler beating. Opportunity or possibility he could run flat, I suppose, second. So dominate it each way. The bet for me there in race number four.